feel good to uh, a little redemption from last year. Oh, that's cool. But, you know, 2012 was 2012. It's 2013. I don't worry about that too much. Uh, you know, just came out here with a goal to make the team. I uh, was able to do that. I uh, had a, a decent performance throughout the rounds and, you know, couldn't be going with a better group of guys. What's, uh, I mean, how do we start ratcheting things down a little bit? You and you and Aries and Wilson's got to start knocking down th sub 13s. Yeah, you know, but I mean, time is just time. You just run to win and, you know, look up at the scoreboard, see whatever time it was. I didn't even know what I had ran today. All I did was look up, so I was got second, and it was like a mission accomplished. So, uh, uh, you know, I don't think we worry too much about time. You just got to get those places. What went right this year compared to last year? Just not being injured. That's it. You know, having, you know, good, uh, good you know, a body. <laughs> yeah, I've not been out there running on like one and a half leg for like since USA is 11. And, you know, I had to make some changes this year. Uh, you know, started slower, changed a lot of my weight regimen and things like that. And, you know, got back on the team, feel good. So we'll go, go to Europe and see what happens there. Are you surprised by uh, Wilson's performance? No, nah, Wilson's a good hurdler. He always has been, uh, you know, when he got out. You know, he was next to me, and I knew the last time I felt him get out like that was in 2007. We were in New York, and he ran 13.02. So I was like, dude, he got out like better than I've ever seen him, you know, probably since then. So I knew it was going to be a tough race. Hey, as a as a track aficionado and fan, yeah. how nice is it to see all these young people? Whether just, all across the board, there's young people coming in and making their marks. Oh, that's cool. You know, the track, all, I mean, I think when it comes to making teams, you know, it's always probably like, it's probably like a 50% turnover, it seems like, from team to team. It's like, you know, if you make it two times in a row, that third time, you probably you might not make it, you know, and I'm pretty sure we can look at the, the stats or whatever from here and see it, you know, fall and play true for, for a lot of individuals. It happened like, you know, in 12, 12 with me after making the last few teams. And, but, uh, yeah, it's cool, you know, it's always good to keep fresh blood in the sport, you know, bring new fans and, you know, have new personas and personalities, so it's cool. How excited are you for the rest of the season? I'm excited, like always. You know, I'm competing. I love competition. I love to go to the track meets. Uh, the fans are always great. You know, this is the last race in the States for us. You know, that's unfortunate. But, you know, just uh, looking forward to closing it out and going to Russia healthy and, you know, challenging for the goal. Since you've delayed everything, are you really excited about what's going to happen in your Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope you're right, man. You beat Aries Merritt, the world record holder, defending right. of a champion. I mean, did that give you a lot of confidence going to Moscow? That you know, I mean, not really. I mean, I've beaten him probably tens of times, and he's beat <laughs> me probably the same amount. Just like Wilson's beat me the same amount, and I've beaten him. Everybody out here is beating each other, and so it's not no real big deal. You just got to execute your lane on that day. All right, well, good luck, congratulations.